what's going on stream how you guys doing I'm here with a quick video to help new players level up fast and with this video is going to help new players speed up leveling up really fast with this process alright so today in this video we're going to go over how to equip up to 16 experience points items that will help you get to level 300 faster but there are a few requirements that you'll have to meet in order to gain this XP boost. One, you're going to have to complete the first five main quest missions completed. And these missions are going to be the basic tutorial playthroughs to getting to roam free and do your own thing in the SOA RPG which are these which they make you do at the beginning as you can see head to Kuraha you already did that complete the UFG you already did that listen to lectures you should have already done these you might not have done these they let you do other things but these are the five that you need to do okay so once you've completed these five main quest missions what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to go to the SBC Glocken and once you do this, there are two more requirements. You're going to need a decent amount of money, roughly around 100 million or more, and have a good way of leveling up, such as someone carrying you or anything that will get you XP, which is somewhat easy. But the thing is, I help out people 24 seven. Whenever I'm on, I'm helping people. So once you guys watch this video and put on XP boost, I will be more than happy to help you guys level up. So starting right here, what you're going to want to do is once you attain some money, you can sell it from pretty much anywhere, any shop. But this is the shop that I am chose to use. And I believe you can look at everything from your item box in this shop. So... In my item box, or actually in my capacity, where you see to the top right, 37 out of 500, I have 50 beautiful diamonds, which is going to give me 50 million. Then I have 50 high quality emeralds, which is going to give me 75 million, which is 5 million less than the behemoth would get you, which I would run you guys through that twice. And that will be where you guys get your XP boost from. So you would just go sell that. As you can see, now I have. A quarter of a billion dollars, 255 million, 100 million. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to walk over to Argo the Informant, one of the shops in SBC Glocken. And you're going to want to purchase the memory chip editor for 10 million, which you should unlock her within the first five missions. And you're going to want to buy the memory chip editor, which is 10 million. Once you buy this, you can now go to your friends list and you will be able to select three characters, which I recommend you selecting Phila, Rain, and Straya because those are players that you are more than likely not going to use. You may just so happen to use them, but I will select three characters that are very close together that you can select and easily go back from. Now, you're just going to go right around the corner and you're going to go to the Predatory General Shop, which sells low ranking weapons for memory chips that you can find. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click RT to sort. For the memory chip filter, which is RT up on the D pad and go to experience points. Now, I'm gonna want to look through these till you find a weapon that gives you roughly around 10% for weapons and around what around 20% for accessories, which I have none in here. So don't worry about not getting anything your first try. It's gonna take you a few tries. It's basically RNG and luck when you get high experience points. But you can do this until you get bored. I mean, you can go in, go out, and the shop will change. You're going to find different items. 
as you can see my highest is seven in this LMG and you may not also because I'm level two on this account and I'm doing this solely for the purpose of this video not on my main account I'm doing this solely for the purpose of you guys knowing how to do this so when I help you guys get to level 300 the process is very fast it doesn't take hours it shouldn't and as you can see on the top right where it says request status you may not meet that status to hold that gun but your NPCs will so you'll be having 12 slots and let's say your four slots can't be filled because you cannot equip accessories or weapons well you'll just put them on your NPCs and then I'll level you up or somebody else will or you'll find some way to level up and then you're gonna be able to equip these weapons so you're just gonna go out and go right back in and do the same thing to go to experience points nine five three six okay we're not getting anything but and also since you guys are such low levels you are not going to find a lot of experience points see this is the highest is 12 you're not going to want to settle with a 12 you want to just keep going back out go right back in okay so for a weapon this is nine this is about the highest i'd probably get so I'm just going to purchase eight of these, okay? And then I'm going to go back in. Now I don't need a weapon, so I'm just going to go over to accessories and look for experience points, which you're just gonna, like I said, just go back out, go back in. Nine, no. Because the more XP, the better. 13, no. Still not getting anything, but it is okay. One <laughs> percent. Nothing. And like I said, guys, you being such a low level is going to affect your RNG majorly. So don't expect to get anything right off the back. I mean, like I said, it's all RNG and it's all luck. See, this is a 10%. But like I said, if you settle for something less, then you're just going to make the process of you getting leveled up way faster. I meant slower if you settle for something lower, okay? It's going to go slower, way slower. But it will go way faster if you just look for the 20 and look for the 10% on weapons. Oh, we not getting anything. I mean, I have things in my item box from my main account, but I am not going to use that because for the sole purpose of this process not being slowed down at all, I'm just going to do this the way I did it the first time and show you guys how to do it so you guys don't have any questions. You guys can watch this video. And I can invite you to the lobby, be like, hey, how much XP boost you got? 200%, great. Okay, I am absolutely getting nothing. So, pretend like the next accessory that I get is a 20%. Do not look at the numbers, please, because I do not want to mislead you guys. Okay, so this is um, 3%, but just imagine it says 20 for the purpose of this video not being so long, I'm going to buy seven of these. And since it's a headband for a female character, since I'm a f my character is a female, I'm going to put um, one onto her and six onto my non-playable characters. It doesn't matter the gender or it doesn't matter. You can put two of the same things on your non-playable characters, but you cannot put two of the same things onto your character and if it's not their gender you're also not going to do be able to do that so I'm just gonna go right back out and just find one more thing because you need eight find one more thing that has experience points and then I'll show you guys what to do with it okay it's the same thing Uh, 
Okay. Nope, it's still a helmet. <laughs> oh my. My RNG is terrible. Okay, now you guys know what I'm about to do, right? I am going to tell you guys to pretend that... Oh. Okay, one more time. Okay. So, I'm going to get these thin rim glasses. Now, you guys pretend like... Okay, I only need one. Okay, pretend like you saw 20% XP boost, right? Okay, because this is going to take you guys a process like you just saw. Okay, so now, like I said, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your friends list, select three players close together. I would, like I said, I would recommend Philarene and Estrella because they're right here. Don't select these three. Select these three they're right here. And you're going to want to go to change memory chip, go up on the D-pad, find one of them. Now, what doing this is going to change the rarity and okay so what you do when you get to your weapons if you have a lot and you don't know how to find it press RT up on the d-pad and go to experience points then you see new the ones that you just bought you're just gonna wanna select those and press move memory chips and then just now that experience that you're putting on these characters and their guns are going to carry over to you as long as you keep them in your party and on your friends list and you have them selected but once you guys change this it is going to go away so just and select their other weapon and this is also making their guns somewhat better it's changing the rarity on their guns as you can see it goes from gray to blue And I'm sorry guys, I am trying to speed this up because once I po once I upload this, I do not want you guys to be like, oh my god, this video is so long. So what you're going to do with the accessories is you're going to exchange accessory memory chips and it's the same thing as the weapon, what you just bought. Like I said, pretend that XP boost that you guys are looking at is 20. Do not settle for anything less. Alright, you see... Like I said, you can do the same weapon twice. Look at that. You can do the same weapon. You see the same memory chips. Like I said, do not worry about this because I am only doing this for the sole purpose of the speed of this video. And I want you guys to actually find something. But for me, I'm short on time with this video. And I don't want you guys sitting like, oh my god, this video is going to take forever to watch. So, and be discouraged, so. Last, I'm going to show you guys how to equip items that you bought onto your player. So once you do that, you are done with your NPCs. As long as they are under your character's name, you are going to get the XP boost. As you can see, it's already equipped it. Yeah. Now for your character, for your equipment, you're not going to be able to select them like I said, see right here. Once you meet the level requirement, which is request status, you need 6 strength and 19 dexterity. Once you level up a little bit, you're going to be able to use your skill points to level those up and then equip them, which you cannot right now, so you're just going to have to play with your default. And for this, like I said, just equip two different things like this. Like I said, pretend like these have 20 on them together, which is what you guys are going to look for. And that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. and.